to this prayer service. Let us pray together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father God, we thank you for this moment, the gift of life, Jesus Master, have mercy on us. Spirit of God, guide us to the truth. Amen. Dear loving children of God, let us thank God for God's mercy upon us, upon our families. We offer whatever that we are going through right now. If you are unhappy or going through different struggles in life, maybe if you are really worried about a particular thing or really things are uh, really not going good with you, whatever your brokenness, your inner wounds, whatever that's really at, uh, giving you challenges or your responsibilities of uh, whatever your intentions, your present crisis and remember all the members of our families wherever they are of uh, their intentions and let's prepare ourselves to do the surrender prayer submitting and surrendering the totality of our life and our families. Hide me in your holy wounds today. Lessen my desires to be known. Cut short my desire to be loved. Uproot the evil desires within me and the powers of evil coming against me today. Help me to live according to your holy will. Fill my heart with your love. Loving God, I surrender my mind, my heart and my body. Use it for your eternal glory. I surrender every single child of yours who is struggling just like me, wash and immerse us into the ocean of precious blood of Jesus and fill us with the Holy Spirit. Let us witness your love on the earth. Amen. <clears throat> Let us read God's word together. Gospel of Matthew Chapter 19, verse 21 and 22. Jesus said to him, If you wish to be perfect, go sell your possessions, give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come and follow me. When the young man heard this word, he went away grieving, for he had many possessions in life. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Sisters and brothers, uh, I'm sure that you have already uh, completed gospel of Matthew chapter 19. The message what I want to share with you today, this young rich man, he went away grieving for he had many possessions. So, Jesus is trying to speak to us through the events of this rich man. Your possessions, or in another words, my attachments to this world, that won't help me to follow Jesus in my day-to-day -day life. Now, sisters and brothers, if you really reflect the 10 stations of the cross, where Jesus is stripped of his garments, Meaning, Jesus is trying to teach us a lesson that we own nothing in this world. Remember that a beautiful prayer from the book of Job. Naked I came, naked I go back, God gave, God has taken away, 
his name will be blessed. So sisters and brothers, the more and more possessions we have, the more and more our attachment towards the world and the people and the things in the world that can in a way disturb and distract our relationship with the person of Jesus Christ. So if you are a person having more possessions, I'm not only speaking about the richness of life or your properties or your belongings or whatever your attachments. If your attachments are more and more towards people, towards things, towards pleasures, towards in the world, then it's very difficult. We remember that beautiful word, James chapter 4, verse 4. If you are a friend of this world, you are enemy of God. If you are a friend of this world, meaning if you are really having a lot of possessions, if you are attached towards the world and material things, it's not that easy to follow Jesus. This young rich man went grieving because he had many possessions. Now check our own personal life. Do I really attach to the world? How is my possessions? How is my attachment? If we want to really follow Christ, let us practice self-control, mortification, mortification of senses, and try to be away or try to practice detachment from this world. I will be moving away from this world. Jesus said, you are in the world, but you are not of the world. You are in the world, but you are not of the world. So keep in mind always, this world is not my permanent place. I'm only a pilgrim. I'm only a pilgrim. I'm making a pilgrimage. This long journey, the destination is in heaven. My, my destination is in heaven. The more and more possessions we have, the more and more attachments when we have in life, we find very difficulty to follow Jesus very difficult to listen to the voice of God. Thank you, Father, for this help. A humble prayer, enlighten a mind with the truth. Inflame our heart with your love. Enrich our life with more and more service. Lord, bless us with your wisdom. We pray, help us to practice genuine love, which unites everyone together in Christ Jesus. Give us this day the grace to live now, as you intend, dear God, to smile. Let's offer all our, all our bad habits and addictions, and we pray for God's deliverance. Son of God came to the world to destroy evil and the works of devil. I've given you authority to tread on snakes and scorpions and over all the powers of the world. Nothing shall harm you. They have conquered evil by the blood of the Lamb. I have come so that you may have life, life in abundance. I, your servant, exercise the priestly ministry in the most holy name of Jesus, asking God's deliverance upon his children right now. Father God, we believe and profess that you are all-powerful and almighty God. You always listen to the prayers of your children. We surrender the totality of our life today, asking your healing hand upon our body and soul. Let there be healing in the name of Jesus Christ. I command in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. All the evil powers that, that troubles and disturbs us by the merit and the power of the most precious body and blood of Christ. Let those evil powers move into the foot of the cross of Jesus of Nazareth. Never come back to us again. I'm the child of the Father. I'm the body of Jesus Christ. I'm the temple of the Holy Spirit. Evil, you have no right and authority over me. Amen. <clears throat> Sisters and brothers, let us pray for world peace, remembering whatever that's going on in the world. 
Let us ask our blessed Lord to have mercy on this planet, peace in our own families, peace in our neighborhood, and whoever we meet today, the peace of Christ overshadow us. Let's pray for world peace. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. We pray for all the departed members of our families, especially all the souls in purgatory. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, I love you. Save souls. Let's pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Let's remember people who are away from God, people who are away from Blessed Sacrament, people who reject and deny God publicly, those who speak all kinds of ill about the church and the people of God. Lord, have mercy on them, O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus. As a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Let us claim Psalm 91, assurance of God's protection and providence upon each one of us throughout this day. Amen. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Make me a channel of your grace. We pray, sacred heart of Jesus, a immaculate heart of Mary. I consecrate my life to the most holy love of your two hearts. Keep me faithful until death. Bring me one day to the happy home in heaven. <coughs> <coughs> there I enjoy with the triune God forever and ever. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Vincent de Paul, pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene, pray for us. Saint Michael, guard and protect us. Our guardian angels, guard us. We pray together, Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine. Let us go to Jesus and receive his blessing with this humble prayer, submitting all the jobless people today very specially. Lord, I'm not worthy of you, but in the abundance of your love, your mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. O sacrament most to holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment time. Eucharistic Lord, bless all your children, especially we are praying for jobless people, those who are searching for a job. Lord, bless them, Lord. Everyone who approaches us today, those who are jobless, Help them to find the right job. We pray for all the cancer patients. We pray for all the people who are sad and disappointed in life. Those who are going through various inner wounds in life. Those who are, those who are really upset in life. Lord, answer to each one of us in your name. O sacrament most holy. O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment time. So says and brothers, today's our Bible reading, Gospel of Matthew chapter 20. Gospel of Matthew chapter 20. Uh, continue our 20 Hail Marys for all the intentions of this channel. We give glory to God for all the healings taking place through this prayer service. Good day. May God bless us.